Hey everybody, welcome back to PC911. Uh, I want to talk to you today about increasing the performance of your computer. The simplest ways, one of the best ways to increase performance. I'm going to show you something on my computer today and something that I want you to check on yours. But basically one of the simplest, most affordable uh, ways to increase your performance is increasing the RAM, the random access memory that your computer has. Uh, typically you're going to see about 4 gigs on your average uh, entry level computer. Some are going to have 2 uh, gigs, gigabytes. But really, we nowadays with the web and all the kinds of multitasking that we're doing, we need much more than that. And I'm going to show you on my computer here, for example. Well, first I'm going to show you how to check it on yours and then show you mine as an example. Uh, one easy way to check not only what your computer has for RAM, but how much are you using. And that's going to give you an idea of do I need more memory. Go to your keyboard and click three keys. This is a, again, this is a, you know on a Windows PC. Control Alt Delete. When you hit those three keys, you're gonna get a, uh, a little message window like this one here. Depending on your operating system, it might look a little different. And go to your Task Manager. You see it down here. That's gonna open up this window. Uh, go over to performance. Mine opened up right in performance, but maybe yours opens up in applications or process, etc. But go to performance. The top one is going to show you the usage of your CPU, which is your processor. Okay, and if you're not really doing much, this should be kind of on the low side. If your computer performance is really, really lagging, that's another thing you could look at here. Uh, we're doing a lot of things on this computer uh, or programs that are open, but again, it's a really high performance i7. Uh, so that's why you're seeing this low, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this one here The RAM memory this computer has 16 gigabytes Remember the average computer or the entry-level computer you're buying in a store has four gigabytes and Frankly nowadays that's that's just not enough. You need to upgrade your computer if you're in that situation uh, Looking at my computer here. I'm going to tell you what's going on. I got antivirus, which everybody has I have iTunes open I have two browsers open. I have Google Chrome with a few tabs open. I have Explorer with a few tabs open. Well, when I say a few, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tabs open in Explorer. Uh, in Chrome, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tabs open. That's because these are screens that I'm referring to on a regular basis. I don't want to open and close screens. So, uh, what do we say? About 18 tabs open in the browsers. Uh, I have Outlook open, which is my email client. I got that open. Uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Well, I got Photoshop open here as well. So even if I close that, but the bottom line is, if you're a typical user, you got a lot of browsers open, you got a lot of things going on. Look at my use here. I'm using 8.7, almost nine gigabytes of RAM in this scenario. This is how my computer's sitting, pretty much all day. But that's what you want. You want to have, if you really, we're talking about productivity. So if you're trying to be productive, you want to have all your, the windows that you're accessing on a frequent basis open. You might have some music in the background and you might have a couple programs. So this computer, if I had four gigs, it would be unusable, period. I'm using basically half and we're really not, you know, processing any major stuff. I'm not even playing any videos or anything. Well, actually, and I'm recording this at the same time. Okay, so that's just a live example. Uh, I'm going to throw up some more videos showing these examples of, of a typical laptop in its, uh, without barely doing anything, maybe opening up a, you know, a Facebook page or something like that. And you can see that four gigs, it just doesn't cut it anymore. Uh, if you got a laptop with four gigs, bring it in. Let's upgrade that to, to the max. 18, eight, at least 16, uh, even better. So that's the point of this video here telling you, hey, if you got four gigs, you need to upgrade that. Uh, also, how to take a look at this uh, yourself. If you got four gigs and, and, and what you're doing is keeping this at two or less, then you're okay. But you probably don't want this. Uh, you definitely don't want this at 75% or greater. That's going to affect your performance. And at the same time, take a look at the CPU. Not a whole lot we could do about, about that as far as changing a CPU or on a laptop, we should say. So that's your uh, tips for the day, and basically what I'm telling you is upgrade the RAM. Very inexpensive to do, of course, depending on your laptop, and we can do it for you right here at PC911. Thanks for watching.